Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would try and do this video. So I have done a few others where I've only eaten like porridge for the day, I've only eaten noodles for the day or just a certain colour foods. So today I wanted to try eating only cereal for the full day. I've got quite a variety of cereals so hopefully it won't be like when I was having porridge all day where it just felt very samey and I felt so sick of porridge by the end of the day and I've got a couple of new ones that I'm really excited to try as well so this should be good. I don't know how much I will be eating because cereal I find doesn't usually fill me up all that much so I might be end up eating quite a lot of different cereals but what I'm going to try is every time I I'm hungry and I want to eat I will have a different cereal so that I'm at least mixing it up so I've got I should have plenty of variety and more than enough even if I wanted to eat five six times seven probably even eight times I've probably got enough ten times so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start now and I'm gonna decide on what I which one I want to try first and then I will show you. So that was very quick and easy to make. I think that will be one good thing about today is that it's going to be so quick and easy to make. I've opted for, let me get the box actually. So I've opted for this Crave and it is the chocolate caramel and peanut flavour one. So it was a new one when it came out but I've had that for a little while now. I quite like it. It's okay but I don't think it's too dissimilar actually to any of the other Crave products so but it was nice um so I'll try and show you it's just a little it's not a massive bowl I mean it's probably still more than the recommended allowance or whatever the recommended portion size but it's quite a small bowl I'll see how I get on with this I may or may not want more afterwards I don't know um but I say every time I do want to eat I will just try a different one and I should definitely have enough to rotate and not have to have the same cereal again twice in a day. So I'm going to have this and then I'll be back next time I eat. So that was breakfast done. That went down far too easily completely finish that so quickly as well. I guess I'll wait and see how I feel. Uh, give it, I don't know, an hour maybe? Yeah, there's quite a few different ones that I am actually excited to try because I've got a couple of new ones that I've never tried before. You will see me again next when it is time for more food. Okay, so it is lunchtime now for me or well I mean it's just before lunchtime but I am hungry and I've just been in um, quite a long call so I am going to have my next bowl of cereal I'm not really sure which one I want but I think I'm gonna try this one I think I'm gonna try this curiously cinnamon I've never had it before so it's completely new to me there was a different I want a different one I wanted to try which you can kind of just see in the background but I thought they might be a bit too similar to the craze ones that I had this morning so we'll go for this although now that I'm looking at the packaging it could also be similar ish but that's fine I've never had a cinnamon one before and I've got quite a wide selection of the chocolatey cereals that I want to spread out and try and not just have chocolate cereal after chocolate cereal after chocolate cereal this is going to be the next one I try and I will show you once I've poured my bowl out in probably literally 30 seconds we'll see how I get on with that so here is my bowl of cereal I just actually had a little bit just out the box without any milk and they taste surprisingly good I wasn't sure what to expect from them but they do taste really good so I'm excited to try these now with the milk I don't want to talk for too long because I don't know how soggy they get and um, I want to try them obviously not as soggy to begin with so I'm going to go and eat this and then I will be back after uh, for my next meal so that curio curiously cinnamon was really nice when I tasted it out the box but actually 
I found that when I poured the milk in, it almost like took off the cinnamon sugar coating. So the actual cereal was pretty bland. Did make the milk taste very nice though. But yeah, I'm actually still feeling a bit hungry because I've had two bowls of cereal so far and that's it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and have something else. I think I will go ahead and try this now, the Weetabix chocolate melts. So these are new and I know that there's a white chocolate version as well, but where I went to shop, there was only the milk chocolate version available. So I picked this one up. I have seen, I think now two or three other people try them as part of um, their videos, like new in videos. I kind of already know some views of what they are, so I kind of have an expectation, albeit actually relatively low expectations. <laughs> and I did actually try one earlier with no milk and I didn't enjoy it so much with no milk, but I'm hoping with the milk it will soak in and um, bring out the chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna go on with that. And I say I'm just I'm just kind of hungry still, so I'm gonna have that, and then hopefully I won't be hungry at least for a couple of hours. So I'm gonna pour this out, and I will be back again. And we're back. Here it is, just my little bowl of the Weetabix. They're quite. Let me just grab one. They're kind of quite big, bigger than I expected them to be. I have poured a bit of milk in, and I feel like it's gonna be like Weetabix, where it's gonna soak it up. So I'll see how that goes. I must say, I don't think I've had this much milk in a long time. I often um, don't really have milk in my coffee. And if I do, it's usually um, some kind of plant-based milk. So oat, soya, anything like that. And I barely ever drink teas. That would be the time that I would have milk in my tea, uh, in my drink and I don't really eat cereal that often either. You know, if I make porridge, for example, it's always with water. So honestly, this is the first time in a long time I've had this much milk and I'm probably gonna get through the whole bottle by the end of the day, at least. Getting plenty of calcium in. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this now anyway. I think maybe attempt to have a bit of a break for lunch, kind of, an actual break from the computer maybe. Not sure. Sorry, the lighting just went really weird. It's because uh, it was really nice and sunny and then literally the clouds just covered it up and now it's very dark outside but anyway i can kind of see my milk is being sucked up a little bit as i stand here to talk so i'm going to eat this and then i will be back next time i eat I finished the Weetabix and they are so much better with milk than just plain out the box. I thought out the box they didn't taste of chocolate at all. It just wasn't very nice actually. They were much better with the milk and it just made it softer and you could really actually taste the chocolate come out a bit more. They didn't really go like super soft and soggy. They still held their shape quite well. Cereal doesn't fully fill me up that much so I was still a bit hungry even after the second bowl of my lunch cereal. So I have now, um, I literally just <laughs> stood in the kitchen and was just eating the curiously cinnamon one just out the box because they're so much better just out the box. I didn't enjoy those with milk at all. I would say at this point the only thing I'm kind of struggling with is more so like the actual variety of foods like the variety of cereal has been fine but the variety of foods like fruit and vegetables and a source of protein so that is starting to get a bit hard and like my mouth can almost like t feel it I'm not sure if that makes any sense. I think by the end of the day, I will really struggle with that. So yeah, I'm almost just already looking forward to tomorrow where I can eat whatever I want again. A variety. I'm going to leave this here for now and then I will come back when I have some more cereal. I was going to say some more food, but it's literally going to be some more cereal. So I'll see you then. I think it is time for another bowl of cereal 
of some sort. Yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit peckish and last minute change of plans, I actually need to go out and teach after work. So I wanna make sure that I obviously have enough energy for that. And given that I've had three bowls of cereal, it's probably not actually that much. So I'm going to have another bowl of cereal really don't know what I'm gonna have yet I've just literally just thought you know what I am getting peckish and I want to make sure that I've had something before I actually go out and teach I mean the last thing you want is the instructor to to feel dizzy or lightheaded so <laughs> I'm gonna make a bowl of something and I'll show you what it is and then and then I'll have this as a I don't know pre finishing work pre going out to teach snack <laughs> so let me try and decide what i'm gonna have and i will come back and show you what it is i have opted for some weetabix this is the chocolate weetabix so actually this is the protein version as well of the big chocolate weetabix the only reason i got the protein version was because it was on offer over the non-protein one honestly i don't think i can really tell the difference between the protein and non-protein version too much in terms of taste but what i do like is to have it gloopy like this which i don't know if that's weird or not but that's how i like it and actually i'm thinking about even just adding a bit of fruit into this because i really just feel like i want that and normally if i have a weetabix for breakfast that was very common of me wasn't it a weetabix um <laughs> if i do have weetabix for breakfast i will probably more often than not actually add fruit to the top so i feel like that is allowed I'm not cheating in any way, I'm still having cereal, I'm just topping it with some fruit which I think I will really enjoy a lot more basically. I have also just got a little tea being made, I just fancied a cup of tea to be honest. So I'm going to do that, I'm actually just waiting for this to get just that little bit gloopier and thicker which I'm sure is probably strange but that's how I like it. Comment down below how you like your Weetabix, whether you like it gloopy like this or whether you still like to keep it basically whole. I used to be that person, I used to hate it being gloopy and I, want, I had to keep the crunch but now I've gone the complete opposite and it's got to be gloopy. Anyway, I'm going to finish off making my tea, add a bit of fruit on this and then I will get eating and drinking. was very much needed. Sorry, I'm moving you all over the place. That was actually very much needed. I think because I do like it quite gloopy, it changed up the texture as well for me, which was really useful. So I did find in previous videos where I did, certainly, especially for eating porridge all day actually, because it was the same texture all day, it, it got a bit like boring and Honestly, it was a struggle. So I think that mixed up the texture a bit for me. So that was really helpful. Just being able to get a bit of fruit in. I feel so much better now. I don't know what I will have for dinner yet. Part of me was actually thinking I was going to have that for dinner. But I don't want to have the same thing again. So I will try and see what else there is that I do want to have for later so i'm just gonna have my cup of tea finish work well carry on with work and then finish and essentially i've then got to run out of the door and go and set up to teach so that should be fun luckily it's quite an early class so actually by the time i come back it will probably be sort of a normalish dinner time for me anyway and hopefully by then I'll have decided what I want to have. I've still got two, three other options. I did actually also pick up a selection little pack, a variety pack. I think there's like 
one thing in there that I've actually never tried before. But yeah, I'm going to carry on with work now. And then, as I say, I will be rushing out the door to go and teach. So I'll see you when I next eat. Hello. So I have just got back from uh, teaching. I didn't get any clips. It was all a bit rushed. But so anyway, so I've done that. I'm not sure what I was trying to get out with that. But yeah, so just got back, quite hungry. So I, well, not that hungry actually, I'm okay, but I could eat. And so I think I'm just gonna have another bottle. Well, I think I'm gonna, I'm going to have another bottle of cereal. I think I'm just gonna have something small and then I'm gonna have a shower because I rushed around so much and got a bit warm. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna have because I think I don't really want anything um too much not that cereal can ever really be too much or that filling really so i think i'm just gonna have i don't know like cocoa pops or crunchy nut maybe a bit of both two separate bowls but small ones that might be what i'm gonna do two small bowls one cocoa pops and then one crunchy nut that might be a good idea so i'm gonna do that and then i will show you and then i will go and have a shower not that you need to know that bit, because I will probably have signed off by then. But never mind, now you have that information that I'm going to shower. So let me grab my bowl, first bowl of cereal and I will be back. So my first bowl is of Cocoa Pops. I haven't put the milk in yet because I don't like them too soggy. And I seem to just go on sometimes. So I don't want to put the milk in just yet. But I'm going to have this bowl, which... I don't know if it's a big bowl or not to be honest so i'm gonna have this see how i feel probably still have crunchy nut because i'm kind of fancying now that i thought about it and said it so i'll probably have that afterwards cocoa pops done they were very good who else's favorite part of cocoa pops though is the chocolate milk right at the end that's the best bit anyway now for the crunchy nut so again, I'm not sure if it's actually a small bowl. I probably would have this normally for breakfast. So that might be a little bit more than I should have. It kind of just came out, but never mind. So bowl number two, and then I'm going to be done. So I'm gonna leave this here now. Yeah, not much to say. It was kind of difficult, I must say. And I think I said this earlier, it was quite difficult because there wasn't any like fresh fruit or veg or anything like that it was literally just cereal and milk but i did have a good variety so that was really helpful and definitely the weetabix in the middle really helped just break up the day and i think because i've had a bit of a variety as well in taste that's been helpful all in all it was interesting <laughs> but it's not put me off cereal, so that's a good start. I know certainly with the porridge day, that really put me off porridge for a little while. So this, has, this hasn't this has put me off porridge. I would happily start tomorrow with a bowl of Weetabix again. So that's absolutely fine. But yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been different. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you do, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more and please do pop in the comments below any other ideas that you'd like to see me try and I will try my best to do those uh, but otherwise I will see you again next time